All right, we're back from the technical experience. <laughs> and we're ready for wisdom dialogues. So, Lori, you want to go with yours, what you wrote to me about today? Oh, yes. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much. Oh, I need to regroup. Let's... um. Go on to whatever you, I mean, I wrote something on Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah. No worries. Yeah. No worries. Hang on It'll here. come up. So when there seems to be a physical symptom, when there seems to be a physical symptom, some kind of a physical malady, you know, um, I had a friend yesterday, Wisdom Dialogues in person, talking about, uh, what was it, uh, allergies, yeah, allergies, she just, uh, and you know, when no one noticed it until maybe like the middle of Wisdom Dialogues, like an hour in, and she goes, she goes, these allergies, you know, what do I, how do I address this, and then Lori asked me today, what is it, Lori, a rash? Yeah, I have a this raised like it's a, and it seems to be worse down here in Florida. Well, being in the sun, I guess. Um, it's a scaly. Actually, Peter's got it too in his head. Scaly, like I, eczema or something. I don't know. It itches and skin. The skin just keeps sloughing off. But, oh my gosh! Oh, how bitching. Okay, it doesn't really matter what it is. As you know, so it could be allergies or what, what Lori's talking about. It doesn't really matter what it is. It's giving you an opportunity. Look at when there's a physical, any kind of physical symptom that you're aware of, watch all the thoughts that go with something like that. Okay. And, and, and look, there's a feeling associated with every single one of those thoughts. Every thought is connected with a feeling which is also connected with a breath pattern, if that's helpful for you, you know? So it's like, it, it's like here's, where, here's where the miracle comes into play. When your mind is going out about your symptom, worry, concern, what am I gonna do? Where am I gonna find the cure? All that stuff. Turn your attention to your body's energy field. Turn your attention here. Well, it comes to me, it feels at the bottom of it all is I'm not enough. Okay. So what? That's pretty funny. Yeah. Which is totally, <laughs> is totally connected with the person. Uh-huh. It's funny. It's cute and funny. It really is. See, it doesn't matter what it is. None of, see, there, here's the thing. And there's one thing that, uh, that. A course, in, a course in Miracles teaches so well, there's no, there's no difference as far as how hard they are to receive a miracle for, you know, in, in your illusions. So it, it's like you, you make, you're making the whole thing up. It has no reality whatsoever. So it, you don't have to do anything about it. And, and if you mind whether it stays or goes, that's also identification. Okay, so if you find yourself minding whether that thing stays or goes, turn your attention. Just be willing to turn your attention, you know? Um, I'm kind of making this a continuation of yesterday's because it's, it's definitely, I definitely got a lot more information, received a lot more information. And then especially when Lori asked me too, it's like, you know, when the question's there, it's like the information just is, keeps on coming in um, to, you know, information as in pointers, like different pointers as to what this, what this is and how to work with it and how to um, be miracle minded within the perception, having the perception of some kind of physical malady. Okay. So it, so it's like all of the things that you think are not you all the things that you think and when you're when you're seeing something some kind of symptom some kind of bodily symptoms this big person uh construct of thought starts going kind of like a whirlwind or a storm 
So it's like that's, the storm is here and, and it could be anything. It could be the perception of lack of money. You know, that's how you would work with that, that perception too. All the perceptions are the same. See, the, you're, when you're thinking about something that you seems to be a problem for you, whenever you're thinking about something that seems to be a problem for you, you are not getting the message that it's bringing because you're not paying attention to where that message is being given. See? You're not paying attention to that. It's like you, are, you, you have a, an upset, angry child saying, no, I don't want that. You know, I don't want that feeling. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the feeling. It's fear. So it's like gentle with that child, you know, and I even, you know, picture, how to have a picture in my mind of a, of a baby and a, and a mom, like you being the mom to that baby and picking it up and saying, it's okay, you know, so that you can get that feeling and 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 be that basically you be the miracle it's like your mind is your mind is miraculous and 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 by that that's what that that's what allows healing to happen because there's a message there's a message of something that the feeling is not something to run away from or anything like that but the child really wants to run away and you know you being you know you could say the mother brings reason to it it's reason. It's like, oh, I know it's okay. I know it's okay because I'm getting a message here. All I have to do is turn my attention from what I think the problem is, defining the problem, describing the problem to the body's energy field and let it be worked out in whatever way it does because whatever way it's coming is the way that it's, it's bringing exactly what you need. It's the way you want it. It's always the way you want it because it's bringing you what you need. It's the child. And you know what I'm, I mean by the child, I mean that innocent one that's conditioned in worldly thinking. See? And it was, which causes fear. Fear, yeah. So the child is feeling angry and afraid. And it's like that child needs love. It's like, it's, it's like you know, comforting. You know, I've heard some people talk about turn the swords of awareness within. Well, make it more like balm. Instead of sword, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, make it your, and that's what your awareness is like too. It's like when you turn your awareness in and you're watching what you're thinking and you know what you're, and you know what you're feeling, you're allowing your feeling to just be fully embraced. Okay, give me that. And you know, you get you get accustomed to where you are able to take a really deep breath, like down to your cooch. <laughs> I just watched a video about you talking about that. I don't know, it's just a random one from way back. And you were still at Fairyland when Is I saw that fun? it. Yeah, it was. Aww. Mm. Yay, fairyland number two. Well, you could say this is fairyland number two, and then we're going to fairyland number three. It's all fairyland around here. We can't help it. When are you moving? Oh, probably May. Oh, that quick? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay, Celeste wrote me a, a message. Not that I want to come on video today, but I also don't see the option to be on video if I want to for what it's worth. Ah. Oh, Okay, yeah, you, I guess you have to raise your hand before that happens. And then I can go promote to panelists. That's how it works. Yay. Anyone who's on can raise their hand. And anyone who's on Zoom can raise their hand. And anyone who's on Zoom can also write and chat to me. And anyone who's on Facebook, thank you for your comments. I may or may not see them, but I do look I do look for them. I just notice I get a lot more than I'm able to see. Yay. What was the what was the title of this one? I forgot. It's amazing. It's all amazing. Okay. <laughs> It's true, it's all amazing because it's, it's just your mind playing out what you thought was true about yourself. You know, if you get some kind of body symptom, it's your mind playing out 
a thought about yourself. Basically, it's a it's a base thought. You you're separate now, and you know, it being separate, that extrapolates out to your um, you're susceptible to diseases and death and stuff like that because now you have to take care of yourself with your imagination. <laughs> You see how that is? It's like you, you once you separate, you only separate yourself from reality in your imagination. <laughs> so <laughs> now you have to take care of, your, of yourself in your imagination. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But really, it's only in your imagination that you have to take care of yourself. You know, when you allow that, when you allow all your feelings to be felt and allow yourself to be receive the comfort of your source within every perception, then you don't have to have a single freaking care for yourself. That takes care of you. That's all there is to take care of you. Really, you get the perception that you're taking care of yourself, right? You're like taking a shower, you know. Uh, I don't know, whatever you do to take care. Not everyone takes a shower to take care of themselves. I'm talking about myself. <laughs> but, you know, when you, when you recognize that all of the motions, like what your body is doing, what your body is apparently doing, like all, like, and, and you seem to be like in control of it like that, like you think you're like autonomous with it, you're in control of it. It's not. It's past thoughts playing out. That's why you can't get away with what you take to be true. You can't get away from that. You can get away with it. You obviously get away with it. You make yourself believe that this whole freaking thing is real. <laughs> Fucking good. <laughs> Isn't that fun? And then you get all of the feeling, the, the feeling that you get is just showing you what you want to know. It is showing you what you want to know. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing with Bob because he really wants to come on, I think. So I'm going to put him, try him to panelist again and see what happens. He's ready. It's also amazing because everyone loves you. Everyone loves you. Even if they seem like they're not, they're just kidding. Doesn't mean you. It doesn't mean you're supposed to hang out with him. Okay. There he is. There he is. Can't hear him, but well, we let's, let him, him. let's let him talk. I'll unmute him. Nope, he has to unmute himself for something. This is freaking funny. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Technical support. <laughs> All right, now you can hear me, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Hi, Bob. Okay. Hello. Wow. Okay. So uh, everyone can hear me and see me now. Yeah. Yeah, so we are all so grateful. Oh, well, good. I'm glad you're grateful and I don't great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 So, yeah, a beautiful sunny day. I love your beautiful anthuriums and uh, uh, everything is shining with health and love. <laughs> so, yeah, all, 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 all the problems and diseases, they're, they've evaporated. They've evaporated? Oh, yes. That's right. And that's, that's, and that's right. the thing. They evaporate in your imagination. And you know what's really awesome, too? Uh, what's really fun to play with is also anyone else's diseases, mental or, or physical, are in your imagination. That's how, right. that's how healing works. Like it, you recognize that you're, they're in your imagination and you put your attention to the energy in your body's energy field, because in order for you to imagine that, you totally have to be getting a feeling. The feeling comes first. It's the first manifestation of the problem. It's an upset feeling. So yeah, it's usually fear that yes. I'm going to get the disease. Yes. 
So you get the feeling, you really let yourself have that feeling like, you know, whatever it is, the thought might say, oh shit, Lori, you're not going to be able to go out for a month or something. Who wants to look at your face? Like, I don't even see it by the way, <laughs> but who wants to look at your face like this? You know, get that feeling. It's really the effect of a thought that came way before. It's really affect the effect of the thought that you separated yourself from reality and it's just extrapolated out. So when you turn your attention to the feeling and let yourself get the feeling, that's where you're living the miracle, basically. Living the miracle for yourself. You're automatically bringing it, bringing the more energy, more energy of your source into your body. You're allowing that to come through. And that's where all of the action comes from. And that's where all of the thought come from. And that's where all the projections come from. The whole world comes from feeling. The world is a manifestation of feeling. Yes, it's a manifestation of thought and belief. Yes. But where you have all the power is in your feeling of it. Your feeling is also in your mind. It's a projection of your mind. Because the body is. Because you're not in the body. You're not in there. There's no, uh, <laughs> you think you're chilling out with that stinky thing inside of it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> where are you in there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not in there the feeling and the body are projection are, are projections of your mind and and what's being asked of you is to get that feeling have the experience get the message there's a message there's a lesson in there and you don't have to try to be a good student to the lesson or even find out what the lesson is it just occurs to you all, all you, all you need to do really is say yes to the truth. Yes to the truth. And that's really saying, saying yes to the truth is that's one way of saying yes to the truth is turning your attention into your energy field. It's one way to really say yes to the, to the truth. It's like, you're not even saying no to the thought, the thoughts cruising around doing whatever it wants to do. It's still being thunk cruising around in your mind. And you just, get the feeling the what comes before that thought and because that thought isn't kind of like um attracting your energy and closing you off to your source energy it's automatically like opening that pipeline so you can get more and that's what breathes and moves you and makes your perception of the whole world and that's will, what will undo the, the world as we allow it so that we can reveal what's really here. It's a deathless reality. Yeah, well, you talk about the world being your child. So do you want to see your child diseased? Do you want to see your child mentally ill or poor or all of the negative scenarios in the world? Is that uh, how you would want to embrace your child and your consciousness with those kinds of ideas? No, you want love, you want peace, you want health. And it's the same with your body. You can consider your body like your child. Your, the, the, the body shows a symptom of some uh, pain or something. You want to, uh, it's, it's, uh, it would be as if your child were crying out in pain. You're not going to uh, you know, worry, worry is just going to amplify the problem. You give it love, you give it attention. Like you say, you tune into the energy field. Yeah. And so then, and then you're emanating an energy field of love. And, uh, you know, then it says in the Bible, 10,000 may fall at your right and your left, but it will not come nigh thy dwelling place because you're dwelling in love because you're not, uh, you've got dominion, you're not a victim. That's all just a victim consciousness. Anything that's gonna hurt you or the world is just victim consciousness. So there, there's no power in that. Then, then you're subjected to the, all these external powers that, that you hand over your power to that can harm you or harm, harm the world. 
And it, is that how you want to live? Is is that the energy uh, field you want to generate in, in into the uh, human family? No, you want to generate all the love and health and joy and peace uh, to to uh, to everything. My peace I give unto you. The peace that passes understanding. That's that's what we want to emanate to our children, to, to our brothers and sisters in, in Christ. Yeah, and to have the peace that passes understanding, you know, you don't have to understand it. <laughs> <laughs> in, fact, in fact, when you start out, you're not going to, but it doesn't mean that you can't have miracles. You can't make miracles. Basically, when you just turn your attention to it could be anything i turn my attention to the body's energy field because it's interesting to me it's interesting to me that it comes from that you know and 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 the feeling the feeling that you have the feeling that you have going in your body's energy field when you're allowing it that's the main thing you're allowing the feeling and then it's getting resolved you know, you could just start, like some people start out um, just paying attention to something else. I've, I've uh, before when I first started, before I started paying attention to the body's energy field, I start paying attention to maybe I'll pinch myself. Told you guys that before, you know. So it, like, it's like, it, it, so it sounds really simple and it is really simple. And you're going to find out just how willing you are to pinch yourself instead of pursue the thought pattern that you're on. <laughs> so when the mm -hmm. thoughts are going and the and then the body starts feeling hot or whatever especially right. if it's here start, just pinch yourself somewhere if you don't want to turn if you don't want to turn your attention to your body you know not everyone i'm saying like i think you can turn your attention to your body's energy field but you know if you're not automatically going there maybe you're not maybe you can't feel it because you're so oh, preoccupied with your thoughts i feel okay. it oh okay. yeah Feel it. Okay, so if you feel it, if you feel it, just keep turning your attention there. It's almost like turning your eyes inward, and then they go outward again, and then they turn them, you just turn them inward again. You just keep on turning them inward. Oh, that's a new one. Hmm. It's, it's, almost, it's almost like a, it, when there's the whirlwind of thoughts, it's almost like there's a struggle or a battle for your attention. Because, you know, it's, it's like pulling you out. It's like wanting to pull you out the thought pattern. Oh my God, why do I have this? Or whatever it is. Um, uh, uh, how am I going to get a cure for this? Right. And then, and then you making the choice, this is where the choice is to just turn your attention. See, that's putting your, that's putting your attention toward the truth. It's like away from the illusion. See, the body's, the, what you feel in the body's energy field, it's symbolic of that thought. It's in, symbolic of that thought of separation. It's a projection of it. And it feels very in contrast to who you are. So when your mind is turned to those, uh, to those sensations, automatically you're going to receive the information. Because you're not, you're not closing it off. You're not, you're not like, kind of like pinching it off. Like a hose. Say, okay, I'm going to stop this. That's what I do. Source energy, basically. God's, awesome. God's guidance, you could say, however you want to say it. From coming to me. Because I decided to make my thoughts more important. Like, and I made this thing. I made this, uh, I made this uh, disease or allergy or you know uh, uh, rash meaningful oh. i made it meaningful i made it as if i have to find a cure for it or something and so and, and so when you allow the allow that information the information is automatically going to come to you the the cure on the surface will automatically occur to you it'll automatically occur to you when you're ready, when, and, and, and what I mean by you're ready, it's like, that's what you need at that time to help you undo the illusion, to help you awaken. So your goal isn't to get a better, um, better skin. Your goal, it doesn't become to get better skin. Remember when we were talking about 
when my when my daughter was going through that thing that drug thing people will t were telling me oh i hope she comes back to you you know like like and i could tell they're sad about that and and i go you know what it, i let her take as long as she wants i don't need her to come back to me she's already with me that thing is just playing out like that for awakening and all that all that's there all that's there to work with it underlies everything is this energy field and allowing basically god's grace to come to you mm. that's all it is michelle says aloha to everyone michelle i bl i think the last name is pronounced fontenot thank you michelle oh, hi michelle we yeah. love you um so okay is not doing no she's not into it anymore what no she switched completely back and then came back and um and she's the same chick that i always knew that went on a little vacation for about a year <laughs> <laughs> she working back at she's not working with us she's she went to kona we'll see what happens over there she cruised over to kona and uh who knows what's gonna go on yep but yeah she's not working with us she's she's back to um feeling like herself nice. more like herself and um She's going over there to maybe do some diving. She used to dive all the time and see what else is up. See what else turns up. Nice. She's, she's probably not going to be with her same boyfriend anymore. It doesn't look like it. We'll see what happens. So she's going over there for a little change. I don't know. She might be back. Who knows? It's a fun show. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't matter either way. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter either way. And she, you know, she came through it so much wiser, of course. Oh, yeah. You know, that's what's being welcome. That's what's being allowed all the way through it. Like looking at the guilty thought patterns only, you know, and it's kind of like with that thing on your face, it's like the thought patterns are saying, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. And you're believing it. You know, my daughter was coming to me and saying, look, mom, this is really bad. I'm on these drugs and all this other stuff. And, and, this, and, and look at me, this is really bad. And, you know, uh, you wrote a book and look at me, aren't I a disappointment? You wrote a book on raising children. I'm your child. Look at me, you know, and I'm like, no, nope, none of that matters. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. None of that matters. All the tears, the same thing all the time. <laughs> so... <laughs> So it went pretty fast and she got um, a lot of insight and wisdom out of it. Nice. That's so good to hear. And then she also weighs like 50, 50 pounds more, so more body mass apparently. <laughs> wow. I think it's symbolic. I mean, it has to be. It all is. Yep, and it, it comes and goes. She looks absolutely gorgeous. I'll just say that. Oh yeah. Last yeah. time I saw her was, I think last night. Yeah. Last night. No, the night before Sunday night. And, um, and I just, she, I just looked at her. I was like, Oh my goodness. It's like her whole aura. It's like, boom. Okay. She's back. <laughs> there she is in, in, in her power looking awesome. Yay. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the, Thank you for writing me. Thank you for watching me. I love you. And thank you for um, being on Zoom. You're awesome. So you, you see what I mean? How it goes back to make it all one thing. Make it all one thing. Because it is one thing. It's just the thought of separation projected into the body's energy field. Body's projected to, projected into the body's energy field so that you can allow it to be healed. But when you get caught up in your own ideas, that's what, that, that's what that's for, getting caught up in your own ideas, is for upholding the thought of separation. That's what it does. But you can repurpose the whole thing, you know, like in A Course in Miracles, it says you can use it as a device for, for healing. Um, and you know, for me that translates to, okay, 
I don't, I don't have to do anything with it. Basically, you look past it according to y everything. You just look past it, whatever it happens to be. You look past it and to look past it and you know, you could look, look to the feeling, look to the feeling and keep on going back to the feeling. That's the peace. You're allowing peace for yourself by going back to the feeling. The baby doesn't like it. The baby wants to kick and scream. I'm, I'm talking about like your inner child kind baby. Pick it up and let it know that it's okay. Put the baby to your chest, symbolically speaking. Some people, some people tap their chest. Some people tap their chest. They see that. You, you, you know, if you do that, if you tap, tap your chest, you could feel reverberations in your body's energy field. Put your attention right there. See? See what I mean? Just gently, you feel those, feel the reverberations at your heart. So whenever you're, um, and when it, whenever you're experiencing anything that's not pure joy, love, any kind of upset, any kind of upset feeling, it's emanating it's emanating in the body's energy field. It's like at the heart. It's like a, it's like a pain in the heart, the heart symbolic of um, the heart, heart symbolic of that hurt, that heartbreak kind of energy when you realize that you separated yourself, but you didn't really separate yourself. So you realize that you, that you realize you separated yourself, but you really only imagined it that you did, <laughs> that you separated yourself. See, you didn't realize it completely. You didn't realize it correctly because if you would have realized it correctly, you would have realized that you're only imagining it. You're only imagining it. You didn't really separate yourself. So it's like you let that heartache and, and, and it seems to me that that's why the breath doesn't get all the way down, like, you know, to, to your lower abdomen, or I like to say to your cooch <laughs> for the women. <laughs> uh, it's like it, it letting, and not letting the breath get all the way down. It's like, a, it's like a, a fear response. So you could really feel once you get, once you get tuned in, like between the heart and down to the pelvis area, it gets tight. Like it won't let the breath flow. See, remember what I said earlier, this, this not only connection, but being one of the same, the same thing, the feeling and the thought is also associated with the way you're breathing. So if your breath can't get down, for a lot of people, the breath doesn't get down past the chest closed off all the way up at the heart and not letting it in and that's symbolic too so it's not that you want to try to force your breath to be longer and go deeper but in just noticing you'll be seeing the blockages hi blaze um i think he just ran out yeah there's a hole in the fence right there thank god it's right behind those flowers. It's really low. The dog escaped again? Yeah, this will be the third time today. Oh, today. Oh, that, Isn't that, that female that? dog? The female <laughs> dog next door, huh? Oh, yeah, I think there is. I think that's what's going on. It's behind us. He goes to the street behind us. He's back there on that street behind us. So see, just in that kind of situation, yeah, I would my uh, my body's energy would be, oh my gosh, something's wrong. This is what's going on lately. I, I need to do something about it. And you're like, oh, he's on that street behind us. <laughs> <laughs> now I hear a bunch of dogs barking. <laughs> and it's and so Blaze just has to take care of it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Blaze can get him. He knows where, it is, where he is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I went over there earlier today and got him. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, and see, it's not like, it's, it's not like I, I have to do something and that's why I go and get him though. I just find myself going to get him. I don't have a choice in it. It's just like obvious. It's me. Oh, it's me. There it goes. And right now, so if it wasn't wisdom dialogues, you probably would have, or who knows? You don't know. I don't know. Can't guess. No. <laughs> I see that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my attention stays in my body's energy field. And then, and then uh, the thoughts take care of themselves. This is all thought. It's just allowing, a, it's, it's just allowing the, um, pure source energy to come through everything else everything on the surface works itself out if i think i'm responsible for it and i get all closed up and i go oh my god it's a problem and i feel all closed up yes then i want to do it myself <laughs> well, and that's it's opening pretty funny because i suck at it <laughs> it's opening up to god's grace it's allowing yeah. grace to come through so you you have a symptom. Turn all symptoms into grace. Thy yeah. grace is my sufficiency in all things, and there's a sufficiency of thy grace in this moment. Allowing grace, a, a divine uh, presence, a divine energy to enter uh, your energy field. Yeah. Uh, grace, is, grace, grace is an effortless gift from God. You don't have to earn it or deserve it or try for it or anything. It's just yeah. an effortless gift from god that you can receive if you're open to it to turn all symptoms into grace it's like do you feel worthy that's it right there yeah you were you saying i don't enough? feel good enough huh yeah. yeah that's the bottom line to the yeah. person the identification with the person so put your attention there just keep on you got it you're put you see it you know you, I, I you know you've got it so you know, it really is that simple. It really is that simple. I'm wrestling with this saying, what the? And I know that's more thought, more thought. Put your attention right now to, the, let's say, tap the heart just for fun. Doesn't matter what it is. Put your attention at the heart. Oh, it's like that red anthurium right by your heart. I know, it's so fun. <laughs> see, and, and you see that you just turn your attention there. It really is that simple, Lori. You, you, everything that's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, they feeling. say the heart, the, the heart is the center of your energy field. Your, your heart generates more energy than your, your uh, brain. It's, it's a, a toroidal field, your heart that, that yeah. emanates way beyond the border of your body. Apparently, so, but yeah. it's still in the illusion. It's still in the yeah. illusion. All right. So, you know, it, it, and the reason I say that it's it's because you don't have to overemphasize anything. It's make it whatever it is that is that that does it for you. Because you're making a magic trick. Ultimately, ultimately, the illusion will end with an illusion of you awakening. <laughs> Isn't that so fun? <laughs> right, because that's not even real either. Yes, because you know you're there's nothing, nothing happens, nothing is happening. So it's like it's like this. It's like the your your energy field, your vibrational energy field is so light and so free of imp impurities that you just go to God. You can't help it, and you can't see what God doesn't see. <laughs> Basically, you uh, you you share God's vision again. <laughs> <laughs> and return to the vision of your source and then you don't see anything in separation so it's just you're just allowing everything to get lighter and lighter and lighter for you 
And it's fun. Like if you, if you find yourself talking something like saying something and you're watching your voice, you know, you're just watching your voice, you go like, oh, blah, 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 blah. whatever it is. Say you, say you just thought it and it had that tone. Get the feeling. <laughs> That's not you. Get the feeling of that. And you put your, you put your attention there instead of, See, it's habitually will go, will just like play out like that and get believe that this is you and, and, and something shitty. The surface, what happens on the surface, it doesn't matter. You really don't mind. You really don't mind what happens but you think you do because of a, a fear. And that's kind of like that crying baby. Yeah, well, in a sense, we aren't good enough. Jesus says, uh, why call, callest thou me good? There is but one good, the Father in heaven. If I bear witness to myself, I bear witness to a lie. So it's like, uh, we aren't good enough. There's a, the only good is God. And, well, of course, uh, you're not good at, enough the way you think you are, though. But that's not who you are. Yeah, you're not. You're not just trying to prop up your ego. Uh, you know, puff up your ego. I'm good. Uh, that's right. not being good enough. That's that's a, a false pride. Uh, yes. you, you have you have to humble yourself. You have to bow. Bef uh, before the divine and uh and then and then you've nothing nice to yourself and then you're worthy to receive that grace yeah i see what you're saying so it's like it, it, it's like you accept that what's greater than the person the only thing greater than the person you think you are is god and the person you think you are is equal with all the other persons. In fact, it's all one thing. That's what makes it equal. And everything mm -hmm. else you can perceive. It's just equal. It totally, it, it, it has no good or bad to it at all. It's just a projection. And it really doesn't have, it, it, it's innocent. It's innocent. But it has no good or bad to it. So as that is, person, as that person that you think you are, you know, God is greater than you. And, and, and in fact, God has a vision of reality that you don't have right now <laughs> because you're seeing a perceived world. Well, because God is no yes. Because you feel separate. God is, God. <laughs> Sorry. No, because you feel separate, yeah. Yeah, but God is no respecter of persons. God uh, sh shines his grace on the just and the unjust. So, so we're all, all one. So that's why uh, we're all, when we put ourselves as, as children of God, that we're the child of God, God is the father and we are the child, then we're born of the father. It's that we've separated ourselves from the father. Christ, uh, 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 he was nothing other than what he was through the Father's grace. So that's what we have to do is get in touch with our source, our, our Father consciousness, our I am consciousness that we all share in common. And uh, then we are born of the Father and not from uh, physical parents. Call no man earth your father. There is but one Father in heaven. And the Course in Miracles says, when you give up all, all desires, all hope, other than uh, unification with the Father. So uh, that's, that's the whole idea, to be reborn of, of the Father. That's the Christ birth, the virgin birth and the immaculate conception, where we're not born from physical parents, but we're born from, from the Divine Father uh, in His image and likeness. Yes, I no see what sin. you're saying. I see what you're saying. And, and just to put it another way for people, you know, it doesn't have to be male or female. This father image um, that Bob's talking about, it doesn't have to be like that. It's because it's all imagined, you know, male and female, they don't really exist. It's all an imagined thing. Whatever it is that resonates for you totally works. 
Um, it could be um, God the Father. If my friends on here have like Christian background, they love that. Or it could be source energy. You could call it source energy. You, you can call it the universe. Someone asked me about the universe, Allah, Jehovah, all that kind of stuff. Um, whatever it is that feels like that for you, that you can understand, get, you know, come to the understanding of it um, without resisting it. And the other, the understanding of how the, the uh, understanding of how this works just comes to you over, over a course of um, practicing, like we're talking about, you know, practicing as in when something arises for you and it seems to be a problem, being aware of where your attention is, you know, being aware of where your attention is and see if you can turn your attention to the body's field, the body's field of energy. Instead of with the thoughts that are believing there's a problem. Yes, that's right. Because that's not how the answer to the problem is going to come about anyways. That's not where it's going to come from. That's only going to cause more stress and tension. You don't need to try to figure out any of your problems. Your source totally does that for you. Your source. Yeah, you don't solve, you don't solve the problem on the level of the problem. <laughs> yes. The same mind that created it. <laughs> right, because yes. it is all generated. Every, every disease is generated from your mind. So that to, to, that's why you go back to your mind. You, you, that's, that's the source of your life. So uh, to, you, you're just looking at, at shadows, projections. Uh, when you look at the world or your body, that's what she's hope, saying the whole time. It's, it's all in your mind. So why look anywhere else? Uh, it's just a decoy. It's a distraction. It's, it's, it, it's, not, uh, it's, it's just the shadow. Uh, look, look at yourself, look, look at your mind to see what's projecting the shadow, some fear, some, some uh, unhealed aspect, and, and give it your love. Like she says, embrace it in your heart. Uh, let, uh, t t take, take your mind above and beyond the problem to, uh, to, to love, to, to the light, and, and em embrace it. Hmm. Yes. And that is, that is embracing it, you know, and just in allowing it, um, allowing what, what experience you're going through basically. And, you know, the experience that the experiences that you're having is basically a thought based experience. And, you know, the, the underlying and the feeling is a thought from before the world. It's all thoughts. So, you know, the, that's all the experience is. Even the feeling is thought. It's just that it's the first manifestation out of which your whole world is, is occurring to you. Your whole world is appearing from that. There's no such thing as space. There's a projected feeling. There's a projected feeling. And that's a, like a sound vibration, or you could say maybe like a symphony of sounds. And it projects into the whole world and makes your whole perception what you're perceiving right now. It comes down to a feeling. So my attention is in the body's energy fields and that's how I experience life. There are not any people. There are not any children. There are not any, um, there are not any thing. There are not any things. There's not any duties. There's not any responsibilities. All there is, is an energetic play. It's thoughts. The appearance of all those things is to make you believe that it's something that's real. Because that's what you wanted. When you thought you separated yourself from the source of all being, from heaven, basically, you had to imagine something. You're imagining something. And you set up lots of defense mechanisms in it to get you to not realize that you're doing that. Lately, some, a couple of my friends have been calling me, uh, uh, been putting some labels on me. One of them's culty. One of them is, um, let's see, what's another one? Uh, spiritual bypassing and gaslighting. 
And you know, and it's like, and it's like, okay, that's, that's great. I see how, I see how you would come up with those things based on that interpretation. And it's not wrong, so I don't try to convince them anyways. I just let them have that perception. <laughs> but, yeah, but, you know, and those, are, those are just some examples of these defense mechanisms that you set up. Like, you can't shame on yourself for allowing yourself to have it like that. Shame on you for allowing yourself to have it like that. Get that feeling. That's a defense mechanism that you set up. So thank you, friends. Thank you, friends, who share that with me. And, it, you know, it's like, it, it's like it's so much gratitude for everything because it's all a feeling. It's like, oh, thank you. It's not true or untrue. It's not true or untrue. It's completely meaningless as that. <laughs> as that thought. It's meaningless. One of my friends asked me, well, is there any validity to what you, to what I'm saying? And I said, yes, absolutely. I feel it right now. It's awesome. <laughs> I freaking made you say that. So yeah. <laughs> but as those, as, as that stuff, as the, as those concepts themselves, they're completely meaningless, but whatever someone's saying to you is valid in that you're getting a feeling effect. You know, the next thing I know, those people aren't hanging around me anymore and it's perfect. Of course, they wanna to talk to me about it and convince me and try to convince me. And I said, I'm just not interested in that conversation. Then you wanted them to say that to you. Yes. Uh, no, thank you. I'm not interested in that conversation. I'm not interested in having that conversation. See, there's no reason for you to have a conversation with the ego. And basically what you're doing is you're propping people up in your field of experience to play the ego. <laughs> and it's like, thanks. No, thanks. <laughs> Thank you for bringing the opportunity for me to say no, no, thanks. And demonstrate to my mind that that's not interesting to me. Wow. Don't you love it? You're always talking to your own mind. You're always only talking to your mind. There's no one else there. Did you come to this through A Course in Miracles? Did you do the whole? I did the whole Course in Miracles. Um, I know other people who have done a, a Course in Miracles though. It's not exactly the same. One person's path is not gonna be yours. Right. You know, it has to be inspired. I get super inspired by A Course in Miracles. That's how it works for me. Well, I just finished a 40 day with Lisa Natoli. Okay. 40 days of the Course of Miracles. And it was wonderful. Great. Between, Great. between you and everything else, I, I think I got just too much. I got so much. So you well, hear that voice feeling. Yeah. Now go right to the feeling. See that? That voice, yeah. you, hear it, you, 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 you recognize it? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Because there's a feeling with that comes along with that. Get that feeling. It's really that simple. There's a frustrated feeling. Yes. Frustrated. That feeling that it doesn't matter. You don't have to label it or anything. You do not, don't forget about the labels. In fact, okay. go right to the sensation, sensation. Don't label it. Don't try to figure the feeling out. Go well, right into the sensation. Beneath that, the, the surface level pain is great ecstasy. Pain is fear. Pain is just fear. Yeah, it's, it's uh, the same old tape of, I'm never going to get this. I'm, I'm going to be listening to hope for the next 25 years <laughs> and so and and so what are you're laughing at that right yes it's, ridiculous. Yeah, that, it's a joke it, it's a joke it's meant for it look at and laughing her ass off over it's here so it, it's a joke it's there's nothing there's nothing real about that yeah there's it's nothing real, yeah yeah so you know it's like it, it's like really you guys it's really that simple you got, you heard how Lori's voice fluctuation just changed just naturally 
you know she wasn't kind of like bringing it on <laughs> i am and with some dialogues <laughs> she's naturally changed watch how it naturally changes and fluctuates don't make any of it wrong forget about that you know that's another thing it's another defense me mechanism but our feelings are so beautiful we should not want to say that they're unjustified okay how about they're beautiful and they're also unjustified <laughs> <laughs> the main thing is, the main thing is you're allowing yourself to get it because it's a meaningless, it's a meaningless projection and it's not going to hurt you, but you're afraid of it. Freaking funny. <laughs> it's kind of like going on a roller coaster ride. I love you, Constance. Thank you. Thank you, Constance's mom, too. I love you. Thank you for joining. Mahalo, Elkini, and Sparkles. Okay, Sparkles. Thank you. And Michelle. Oh, Michelle again. I see you again. Ah, Lori, welcome. Lori K. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you. So, hooray. Yeah, you were talking about listening to that guy uh, reciting The Course in Miracles, that audio book, that that was uh, almost orgasmic for you. This guy was a great uh, reader. Well, maybe not orgasmic in the way you're thinking, Bob, but... <laughs> no, that's not like you were having a vaginal <laughs> orgasm. It's just that it was... It, it was ext ecstatic, you know, for you to, to listen to this guy's great reading <laughs> voice. <laughs> it was, yeah, the, the audio book, audio book for A Course in Miracles, there's something about that for me. Uh, and my, my other friend Lena yesterday said, oh my goodness, it's the same thing. She was just thinking the same thing. The, the way, and, it, and you can't even say, oh my gosh, this guy has like a sexy voice or something. It's not that. There's just that, like this sense of compassion, almost like it is Jesus saying it. It's like really, like really beautiful. Um, yeah, that's on. I know it's on my Audible audiobook like that. I don't know about all the different recordings so. though. Well, it's on YouTube, I guess. So I'll have book. to check it out. Is yeah, it on YouTube? It. Yeah, they it. say. Uh, yeah, it's on YouTube, so I'll have to check it out. Yeah, this. Uh, the guy reading the course in miracles. But does yeah. he do all of it? Yeah. On YouTube, the whole thing, like three hundred and sixty-five days of it. I don't know. We have to check. Yeah. There's a YouTube. lot more than that. It, there's a text and a and a workbook. Oh, you had to do that too. I did not have to do it. You did not. Oh. <laughs> And then there's the tea. You see how that the, went up the, instead of. <laughs> <laughs> so see how many opportunities you have, Lori. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for paying attention to this because with all the opportunities that you get, this is this is amazing. Things are going fast. Things are getting undone really fast with you. If you start turning your attention to that every single time, shit. <laughs> 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 my attention. It's just watching when it's Calm getting... down. You're doing it right now. <laughs> Go <laughs> turn your attention in there right now because you're already uh, you're already getting getting like you have to grab it. You don't have to grab it. It's just right now to turn your attention into your feeling. It's light, it's gentle, it's not grabbing. It's not gripping or grabbing. You just see, you notice your energy went outward and turn your attention in again. Easy, real easy. Yesterday, the, the, the title of yesterday's in-person wisdom dialogue, which is available on all the podcast stations. Oh, you already put it on. Yeah, is it's so easy. Today's, mm -hmm. today's is it's all awesome. <laughs> and that's why it's all awesome because of you because you're uh, because you are the, basically the miracle 
and you know you just become more mind it, it, your mind gets more tuned in toward what it what it is what all of this is for and so then you're e you easily turn your attention back and don't have to go to, toward upset you can find yourself feeling upset but you don't have to keep going toward it by grasping on to more thoughts mm. See? now the thoughts are still coming it's right? okay yeah they can come but you just Perfect. trying to keep keep this no not trying it's more like you're you'll get you get your attention gets pulled out again and you go and it's like oh another opportunity and then you're and then you just it's really wi like willingness will you turn your attention away from trying to be that be with that thought like that will you turn your attention to something else will you are you willing to let that go because basically what's going on here is for most people is pursuing thoughts every minute of every day and you know it could turn into a meditation like a walking meditation if instead of pursuing the thoughts the attention goes to the body's energy field that's all it is there's nothing more there's nothing more. There's not a person trying. There's not the past. There's not the future. Heck, there isn't even really the present that exists. It's just really, uh, you're, you're, you're getting a feeling and that's making an illusion that includes thoughts and the thoughts are, per, are perpetuating themselves to support the underlying beliefs. The under, that underlying belief that you separated yourself. So when you, when you, when you pursue those thought projections all the time, it just, reinforces the belief the self-belief that's making the feelings in the first place that's making the upset feeling in the first place that's projecting a false reality remember the, the circle i did it's like that circle so the self-belief is at the bottom of the circle mm -hmm. and then it projects to a feeling and then the feeling projects to thoughts okay and if the thoughts are fed, they can either drop right there and go down the drain. The thoughts are fed, they get all kinds of energy and go right back and support the self-belief that the cause of all of it. The cause of all of it. Self-belief is the cause of all of it. Yeah. Now those thoughts don't have to be pursued. That's only that's the that's the mistake you could say is thinking that the the self thoughts have to be pursued. Anne Claff, I don't know what the guy's name is who reads A Course in Miracles, but I have, I think there's only one version because it's such a big book and he does all three chapters of the book. Um, the text, the, the um, lessons, the individual lessons and the supplement, no, not the supplement, supplement someone else, someone else. The manual for teachers. So those are all really, really good. It, and he does them really well. I don't know the dude's name. He's on Amazon though. He's on their, their, uh, audible. Yeah. Hmm. I'm sure you will. <laughs> yes. That's one of my favorites. Put my headphones on, lay down, listen to the course, listen to a course in miracles. Definitely. Um, and, that's because it's appealing to me. It's attractive to me. It's, um, you know, kind of like Bob said, orgasmic. It is kind of similar to that, but it's not like what you think, like with a sexual orgasm or something like that. But it is because there's just so much being allowed. Um, there's so much being allowed to come through in that. For me, that's not the way it's going to be for anyone. For some people, they like put, putting uh, frog medicine in their arms and making little scars. I see that. There's like 16 scars, you know, little little dots on the arm. And then it, you go and get, I guess you, you get like uh, some kind of godlike experience like that. <laughs> it's like whatever works for you. <laughs> so you still, you still listen to that today? Oh, yeah. I listened to it today. Oh, wow. oh yeah totally i love it it just speaks the truth why not yeah you know what else am i doing at the time 
<laughs> and you know, it's not, I, and also, also it's not my choice too. It's always like, uh, like someone was asking me this weekend, what do you, um, what do you do? Like, what's your routine? And I said, well, I guess you could say I don't really have a routine because I'm always in a state of asking kind of like, what will you have me do? Mm -hmm. And it's like, whatever, whatever it brings the most joy is what's being allowed because there's just allowing that to, to manifest like that in the body's energy field. Mm -hmm. And, and you're, you're allowing it to go back to joy just by your attention, your attention heals, your attention um, is like, it's kind of like a, it's the light of awareness coming onto like mist, you know? It's like there's this there's this tension, there's this mist in your body. It doesn't it's not solid. It doesn't mean anything, but it's like the light of your awareness giving that attention and that's how the underlying belief gets healed because those thoughts, the those projected thoughts that are normally being fed for, by you are not getting the energy from you anymore. They're not getting the energy. They're not getting the energy of your attention. So now you're opened up. And yeah, well, there's three. Uh, go ahead. There's, there's, there's three grades of being uh, I've mentioned. First, you're the victim. And then, uh, the, then you graduate to being the creator of your life. Then, uh, you know, you can uh, think uh, positive thinking and create your life. And then there's the third life where you're the servant. You're the servant of God where you wake up in the morning and you say, speak, Lord, thy servant, hear it, where you're a servant of God and you serve your fellow man with God. So, yes. uh, so, so that's just it. You're, you're not worried about yourself or, or anything else. You're, you're, uh, you're bowing and, and humbling yourself to be open to receive that uh, voice of God, the grace of God, the love of God, and then that's what you have to offer to the world. Yes, exactly. And that's the only thing that can help anyone. That's right. Nothing that's the you only can thing do. That I have can help at like, you know, if if you're talking about any, anyone in any kind of situation, people starving, um, anything, uh, people in, in camps and border camps, I heard recently, um, any of that kind of stuff, all of it, all of it, it comes through the healing comes through you it comes through your mind it can only heal in the mind it doesn't heal on the surface it can make illusions of healing but that's not the same because it's just going to keep on cropping up again and, and it's like all god wants for you is your awakening just like you you share the same will with god so why not ask God, what will you have me do instead of what am I going to do for myself? Even how am I going to get my, uh, even how am I going to get more awakening for mm. myself? See? <laughs> Just share, share, share. It's like, it's, it's like, uh, it, we can't help and we can't help but share it once it's, when it's allowed to come through. I'm a, afraid to share now because there's so much doubt ever oh since, yeah ever since the uh, you know that everything that happened last summer i'm just like ah. <laughs> no no well that's a feeling yeah. <laughs> that's all it is as simple as that you just you you, you just haven't simplified it to a feeling right it's so, a feeling so now you're fear. acting like you need fear. to learn more shit that's why it's like, oh, you had to do all that. <laughs> now you're acting like you gotta learn something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's not even a learning; it's a remembering. Yeah, it's it's and 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 in and in that, all you have, all you have to do is make a choice. You're basically making a choice between making those thoughts and feelings and emotion and world real or being open to the truth it's so okay so there's the feeling yeah so there you go. Um, 
is mm -hmm. yeah keep it, they don't have to explain it or anything just keep doing that is not anything that you have to even um stop what you're doing to do <laughs> basically <laughs> whatever you seem to be doing can still be going on and you still turn your attention to the feeling okay. it, you know it's like as i'm sitting here there's all kinds of feeling fluctuations and you know they they could get away from me if I don't pay, if I don't have attention on what's going on there. You know they could build up because because what what goes what goes on is you know there's a there's a sense of tension kind of like in the in the column you could say in the in the column like like you know the front of the body there's a sense of tension there unnoticed unnoticed. And it's connected with a thought, and a thought is also unnoticed until un, until the un, until it, until there's willingness to see. And the, the thought the thought can just take care of itself. When you notice the feeling, you're allowing more of that um, God, grace, power, source in to your mind. Because you're not feeling it with your own ideas of what's happening. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> well, there's a definite. Okay, so this says, I'm willing, I'm willing, I'm willing. And that's not the one. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's right. That it, one, it's a feeling of that too. <laughs> that's like desperation. Yes. <laughs> 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 Just get but, the feeling of that. See how it's not calm? Right, it's not calm, yes. <laughs> yeah, so get that feeling. And, and, I can feel and, the excitement. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, and, and you'll, see that, you'll see that your more natural state is kind of like a calm excitement. Not like a hyper, like a calm excitement. See? You'll notice that that's your natural state. Okay. And it, and and then anything that anything that uh, con uh, what's it, what's the word contrast to that anything that contrasts to that means you need love. Let it happen. <laughs> or hold the baby and say it's okay. Yep, it doesn't matter. It's whatever it appeals to you. That's why there's nothing for you to remember here. And I remember you asking me years ago. When I when I used to be posting, and I'd say I'd say that you know you could you could do this, you could do this, and pay attention to your breath, and pay attention to what's going on here. And she's like, yeah. "Would you?" And, and and you're going, it, it, "Can you?" It seems like there's so many different things I I should be doing, and I go, oh, "No, they're all just for fun." Mm. <laughs> See if you'll pick one, <laughs> and let it be interesting to you whether you do or not. Let it just be interesting to you, not judging. Wow, I didn't, I didn't even think of any of those things. I just got all triggered and went all triggered. That's interesting. That's all. Because right there, right there, when it's occurring to you again and you're noticing it, that's another opportunity. There is never not an opportunity. Okay. At when the minute you said years ago, there was a, I felt it because it was like, yeah, years ago. What? What the fuck is my problem? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. I know what you mean. Uh, uh, yeah. Get that feeling. There's no such thing as years. Get that feeling. The only reason, the only reason no such, that, that there's no such thing as years is even anything that's meaningful is to let you get the feeling. That's the only reason you want to know that so that you don't have to pursue the thoughts. You're filling your mind with your own understanding and not allowing, allowing your source to show you, not allowing yourself to be shown. And, the, and you can see where you're using that feeling to kind of block yourself off. Hmm. I know a dad that taught, her, taught his daughter balloon breath. She does a balloon breath when she gets upset. 
to just let their tummy get really big and then it doesn't matter what it is. That puts attention in the body's energy field. It's nothing special. <laughs> it's just that you're stop still filling your mind up with nonsense. Meaningless nonsense. It's taking Bye, up all the space. <laughs> just by focusing on the breath. Anything. Your toes, your eyeballs. What do my eyeballs feel like? You know, whatever. Just not and in not pursuing that. The thing the the thing is, you're not so willing to let go. You're not so willing to let go, and that's okay. Watch that. Watch that. That'll also pass. And then once you're willing to let go, forget about all of that. And and let and have that release. Let yourself have that release. The only thing that doesn't let you have that release is that you you want it to go faster or something. You won't care how long it goes. You you really won't care how long it goes. You know, if you find yourself speaking something out of out of illusion, it's like, oh, awesome. No problem. Yeah, you become you become too attached to results. You know, you want that healing, you want that joy, you want that thing. And the, the, very, the very wanting is denying the very thing you want. Because when you're wanting, uh, you're, you're lacking something. You're saying that you, you don't, don't have it already. You don't, you don't have it and you want it and it's a desire. It's acknowledge you're just lacking and you're just generating more lack. You know, you say, I am. That's the power of I am. It's a it's a present statement. It's 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 you don't have it. You are it. It's, yeah. There's no separation in I am. I am love. I am light. I am God. I am source. I am grace. So uh, that's that's to me is what I focus on is is just that word I I and I am I. This is the uh, that's the whole meaning of of the Bible of Jesus Christ is the I am I am identity, which is the identity of the Father, and of the uh, and of the Son. Yeah, the and, and you know, if you get a sense of relief off of that, then that's great. All your that's all that you're you're, you're looking for is this sense of relief from the mind's tyranny. Right. See. It's like, and that's, and, and, you know, you're worthy of that. Mm. I've heard of people just going to the thought too. I am sure. For me, it's very sensory. It's a feeling uh, the energy, the body's energy field is completely um, in my view most of the time. Once in a while, it gets pulled off, and then it's like, hooray! <laughs> what would make it pull off? Give me a... Well, nothing in particular would make it do that. You know, that would say that, that would be saying that something in the illusion can have an effect on the mind, and it's not like that. It's the other way around. So uh, getting pulled off center is also for learning. It's also always for learning. Um, an example, oh, one that occurred this, just this past week, um, one of my employees took one of our lap, lap, uh, MacBook Pros, lap book, map, MacBook Pro laptop, um, and took it to the mainland and then, uh, the, then her car got robbed and the MacBook Pro got stolen. <laughs> And she sent me an email and, and, me, and, and immediately I noticed just a little bit of a discomfort because immediately I check in my body's energy field. I just notice a little bit of discomfort and I'm like, oh, awesome. Because I know that, that what it's for. So I'm excited about it. So, it. so it's just allowed, it's just allowed to be that feeling upset, uncomfortable kind of feeling it maybe it uh there's a thought that says about her being irresponsible or something upset feeling okay just get the feeling get the feeling and then it's not it's no thing it's no problem at all 
there's not even anything um, that happened. In fact, I told her that. I said, there's nothing that happened. It's empty fields. It's no different. Yeah, well, it's, na it, it's natural to get those initial reactions when you hear mm -hmm. about something, you know, like I, I told you about this uh, girl we all know uh, locally, May, who was missing mm -hmm. and uh, they're searching and then I just, read yesterday that she was found dead, that she, you know, had fallen down a cliff. And so, you know, my first reaction was, you know, oh, because I knew this girl, you know, it's like, oh, you know, this is, you know, I was just crushed. But then, but then now it's, it's like, I realized death is a celebration, you know, that, then I can retranslate it. Then the woman is free. The woman, I, I can tune into her spirit. There's going to be a whole memorial for her at the uh, Kava bar on Monday. Everyone's gonna get together and celebrate her life. You know, Wonderful. so, it, and, and, then, and then there's that Pele mural that remember you saw it sitting, uh, she, uh, where Before we do the that? wisdom dialogues. Yeah, so we, there's this beautiful Pele mural my friend Zipporah uh, painted and then, um, uh, James, the guy, he's going to paint her a new mural. He he alluded to that she, uh, uh, Michelle was going to have him paint over that mural. And I was just like, oh, my God, that thing's a masterpiece. Why would she do that? You know, I love <laughs> that mural. And then I, I messaged her and she's 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 selling it you know, to okay. someone that, because, so, you know, then at, at first, you know, I'm, I'm a little, you know, I can feel a little twinge of anxiety about, you know, I, God, she better not paint over this. And then finding out, yes, yeah, she's going to find someone that really wants it. And well, did you allow it. yourself to get the feeling though, before you found something else out that could, that, that could just substitute? Because right. Well, then, the, 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 <laughs> right. Then, then I got in touch with how attached I was to this painting. You know that that I'm just attached, and that I should just be able to let the whole thing go. You know, and then in my mind, I let it go, and then I got. That's when I got the message from Michelle that yes, yeah, she's going to sell it. She's not going to have him paint over it. So. So yeah, I had kind of worked through that in my mind, but a lot of times you, you're faced with these kinds of tragic or, or difficult things and your immediate response is that, that glitchy kind of anxiety, but then, but then like you say, then that's the opportunity. Wow, then I can retranslate this. Then, then I can take that tension and breathe into it, heartbeat into it and love it and then you relax into it and then you find that the whole situation you were tense about gets resolved and it doesn't have to be anything in the outside world you've resolved it within your own self within your own energy field and most of the time when you do that it gets resolved externally yeah if it needs to it does but there's no one who needs that to happen once it's resolved yeah. once it's resolved in your own mind it doesn't need to go any particular way. You're all, you're all right with it going any way. That's how you know yeah. it's resolved. Yeah, you because you're not uh, you're not attached to results. You're not looking for a result. You're not praying and then uh, checking to see if uh, you know your your prayer's been answered or whatever. You right. just let it go. You, you're unattached. You're not after after the the result. And there's no way that there's no way that you're going to come to that in concepts by saying how you should be. That's why you get the feeling because you you should, you should be exactly as you are. You just get the feeling and then the underlying, what causes the whole thing gets revealed to you. What causes the whole thing, you know, so it's like we were talking about before, Lori, uh, about how you'll have something and then you'll you'll get these spiritual concepts to try to like talk yourself through it. But it does, you know, you just keep on talking yourself through it, but it's not really seems to be effective for you. So those spiritual concepts are just pointers like to help you to see that it's not, it's not really going anywhere to follow the thought. It gives you, you know, a little bit of trust, a little bit of faith.
out. If you put your attention in your body's energy field, you're going to be okay. Maybe you'll just put it there for a second and then you'll have to go back to the thought and then you come back again. Okay. Am I still okay? And go back again. Am I still okay? Yes. See? And it'll, it'll be, it'll, it'll reveal itself to you, but, but it won't be you trying to learn something. It's way more relaxed than that. It's way more casual. It, it's dropping your burdens at God's feet and allow God to take care of it. Yep. Cause I've heard, take no I've heard thought. lay it by the river, lay it by the river mm. is one way of saying it. Uh -huh. mm. Because yeah, he, he, Jesus, Jesus says, I have, own, I have my own self can do nothing. If I bear witness to myself, I bear witness to lie. There's nothing you can do to anything is maybe just put a Band-Aid on a problem. You can't, you have no power. I have no power to resolve or heal or do anything. That's, that's just ego that thinks that I'm going to do something. It's lay, laying your burdens at his feet. It's, it's allowing uh, God's grace to, to function in your life, which is one of joy and health and harmony and abundance and all the, all the beautiful things in life. They only come from God. <laughs> yeah, so the, so the miracle, then that's what you can offer, is choosing what's true choosing the truth in the face of illusion illusion is anything that makes you feel upset so all the things that justify your upset feeling that's illusion they do not need your attention they do not need your attention they they can all play all the illusion thoughts can play themselves out you just keep your attention on your energy field let the thoughts keep on occurring to you they coalesce on their own and they and they work out on their own. They, they occur to you naturally. Do you notice that? They just keep on coming. They just sort of occur to you naturally. They, and, and if you try to, if you try to, and I think what is what the Buddha was saying about interference, if you try to interfere with, the, with them, all you can do is put an upsetting spin on them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And make more of what you don't want. Right, right. What you think you don't want. <laughs> Yay. I love you guys. I'm going to be harping today, um, starting at 6 p.m., so like a little under an hour and a half, at Kalani. I'm going to be doing the Cosmic, Con Cosmic Contact Workshop, providing ambient harp music. So if anyone wants to join me, hooray! <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, You're gonna do like you did last week with us? Just yeah. winging it? Winging it, totally. Nice. I don't have a repertoire. Nice. Yeah, just winging it. Yeah. I'm bringing my heart, if anyone wants to come. Did you get your big one back yet? No, nope. they told me they just got the wood for it. Oh. So I'm going with my little purple one. It sounds the same, doesn't it? No, not if you put them together, but you can't really tell if you haven't heard the big one or you haven't heard it recently. <laughs> I don't can't tell the difference anymore, but I know when it comes back, it's like, oh, the sound. Because when I first went down to the smaller purple one, it was like, oh, wow, the sound sounds way lighter. Uh, yeah. Can you carry the big one by yourself? Yeah, I can carry it. I just huh? can't wear it. Like I can the little one. Wear it? Yeah, like with a guitar strap. Yeah. But I can carry it fine. It's, I, ha I have a backpack case. Uh, okay. Yeah. So hooray, everyone. I'm going to cut out a little bit early. I've been, been with you guys for about an hour and a half. Um, Thank you. but I'm going to do, I'm going to do that. And I think it's like 40 minutes away or something like that. <laughs> so I'm going to go get some food and get ready. And I'm super stoked to have shared with you today. It's such a blessing. I appreciate all of you so much. And, um, you can check out the videos and stuff on 
hopejohnson.org. Just go to hopejohnson.org, Johnson, Hope go to the Wisdom Dialogues one. And there's also audio. These all become audio and they're on all the podcast stations, including SoundCloud and iTunes and all those kinds of things. And um, if you think it's totally amazing and you'd like to donate, you can go to the donate page and donate to me too. That'd be really awesome. Um, it helps me pay for lots of things like um, the podcast. I put it through all, the, through all those podcasts. That's a service. And then Zoom is also a service. And um, I don't know, all kinds of different things. <laughs> and, and you know, of course, I'm always happy to do more and more as it's... Um, Awesome. As it's awesome. <laughs> As it feels awesome. <laughs> Aw, mahalo. Okay, so until next Tuesday, I'll be back on Monday and here in uh, um, Hawaiian, or not Hawaiian beaches, in Wawa. I'll be at Michelle's place in Wawa on Monday. I'm there every Monday. So hit me up if you're around here and you want to go. Um, and then on, every Tuesday, I'm here online. Yay. Thank you. Mahalo. It's awesome. It is awesome. It's all uh -huh. awesome. Mahalo, uh -huh. aloha, and a hui ho. Mahalo to you too. <laughs>